yesterday. Uh, we'll be looking to see if they can pull out a victory here. We're off and running. Demon a little bit ahead for myself. Oh. Yeah, I have the crawler, but not starting yet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, still not starting. There we go. So going to be about four seconds behind for me. Sorry for the big white screen you guys just saw. And Demon finding this titanium round score the right off. That's very good. Yep, the Necro Rebel didn't even find it. Yep, the Necro Rebel didn't find. So, nice early advantage for Demon here. Ring. Oh, and Shrine of Peace. Actually hits it and then uses the enchant weapon scroll. That's an interesting decision. Demon on the other side, he's just going to bomb it because he doesn't want to lose that titanium longsword. Gets a ring a piece out of it, which isn't exactly bad, but you got to look at Necro Rebel's health now and be like, that's, that's pretty nice. It'd be pretty nice to have. Well, yeah, but uh, Demon had um, a good weapon, so uh, he thinks the Shrine of Peace. Uh, yeah, exactly. Good. Let's see, Demon Lucky Charmed also found a heart transplant. Gonna pop that on this 1 3. Yeah. Takes Ooh. a big hit there from the Minotaur. That was a bit silly. You had all the time in the world. Getting a little bit spooked now with this heart transplant. But he's first down onto Coral Rift. Necro Rebel. Oh, a Ring of Might with that gold cat. That's pretty nice. Gonna switch it back to the Blood Dagger though. I can agree with that. Maybe he sees uh, it's Coral Reef and wants to throw. Potentially, yeah, I can I can understand maybe keeping it for the throw, but the gold cat's pretty good, especially with the two damage. I'm a, I'm personally a big fan, but I do under I'm appreciative of the merit of keeping a throwable weapon, and it's gonna do him good here. Gonna have the throw. Has two bombs, so we'll have one spare. We'll see what the difference is here. We'll need to see what he checks. I imagine he goes black. Yep, gets a titanium broadsword. So that's a three damage broadsword. That's really that's nice. nice. On the flip side, Demon got a shield spell out of his purple chest. Ooh, that red bat, it, al it always spooks me and then I see that they have the lucky charm. Oh, glass shop here. You buy the armor. I think you buy the shovel as well. Yep, is going yeah. to. Little torch as well. Very nice. Gonna be looking for a food shop. Oh, and the Corbett bombs instead for trying to bombs in the shop. Yeah, both races with a lot of bombs now. Six for Demon, seven for Necro Rebel. Death Metal. Going to be a little bit faster for Necro Rebel. Going to be able to just whack him three times. Necro Rebel going to be five. Sorry, Demon Hunter going to be five. Oh, Ring of Regen. That's a tricky call. He's going to take it. Because he yeah, was only down to the single he... heart. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Never mind the Ring of Regen. Doesn't want anything to do with that anymore. Oh, got a little bit spooked there by the... Uh, by the Minotaur charging and just tanking the hit with no damage thanks to Courage. Let's see. And pretty much neck and neck now. Yep, neck and neck. It's the difference in these shops. Oh, a much nicer shop for Necro Rebel. That's six damage dagger. Oh. That is so strong. It's a little bit spooky. Oh, no, he goes down. Oh. Oh, gets into a nasty situation with a couple of enemies and that blue dragon oh. freezes him. Oh, demon, he's and gonna... Demon oh, just surviving. He's oh, he's gonna get hit. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. You've got a blood shield. Yep, does <laughs> so. You gotta go up. Oh. Oh. So, so close. Oh, oh, no, demon. Oh, no. After all that, he jumps into the yellow skeleton. All he had to do was move up, so we've got a full wipe here. Oh man, we'll see what the races are gonna do. Looks like exactly the same this time. Go Demon gonna go back for the titanium longsword, and Necro gonna hit that shrine. 
Uh, and I... he, uh, he used uh, the iframes uh, from the apple to uh, take the heat from the dragon. But, yep. Uh... I think if you're Necro Rebel on that one, you maybe, I don't know, maybe you try luck and see if you can get a better dagger uh, from that red dragon, but uh, it's a big commitment to the rest of your run. Uh, I think they are actually they are already doing the exact same thing as uh, last run. Yeah, Demon Hunter regrets leaving peace. Yeah, it was a nasty toss up. Oh, there you go. That's an excellent use of that enchant scroll. Finds that oh. gold cat and transmutes it into an obsidian cat, which is, you gotta say, it's the best weapon in the game. It's be the best racing weapon at the very least. And the Coral Riff music <laughs> on stream almost perfectly lined up with this uh, Coral Riff for Necro Rebels, so not often you get to see that. That's kind of nice. Okay, Demon taking his time here. Oh, a nice drumstick find. Just gonna take it. I no, you gotta use it. Oh, you yeah. don't just leave it. You're down a heart. Oh, no. Demon, please. <laughs> you're hurt. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. If you're not gonna take it, you have to just use it. That's a poor decision by Demon Hunter. Hopefully, not one he regrets. Oh, gonna leave it behind. Necro Rebel, gonna go into this glass shop again, gets the armor and the shovel. Oh, there goes the armor. That Wind Mage, not happy. Not doing him any favors either. Oh, this four, this two to four damage cat is so nice. He's down onto his death metal. Necro, sorry, Demon Hunter, a little bit far behind. He's on his two two. With what you have to say is a, a worse build. Neither of these builds are particularly incredible but uh necro rebel definitely with the advantage here there's a ring of peace i think you switch it out he's going to so extra heart container way nicer enemies but he does lose that plus one damage from the ring of might see so not checking that black chest maybe remembers what's in it i can't personally uh okay this shop is where things got spooky last time so gra grabs the apple gets that heart Gonna take the compass, not gonna even touch that dual dagger this time. Absolutely no need, he's got a fantastic weapon. Okay, that green dragon, a lot nicer than the blue dragon from last time. And a Shriner, you might as well have a sneaky peek. Oh no, you don't take anything there. Okay, really, really quick zone three. And on the other side, Demon Hunter's got a oh, hell of a build. Rocket. Yep. Obsidian Rocket. Obsidian Rocket, got a torch, got still got his glass armor from that zone two shop. And that shovel. This is spooky fast now. Gonna be looking for some food. Gonna check the Shriner, but there's not gonna be anything that he wants in there. Nope, not checking it. This Banshee, oh, good use of the shield spell there, just doesn't want to even risk getting hit right now. And he is right on Necro Rebel's tail. Necro finding a heal spell, you gotta give it to, Demon's gonna have the build to catch up here, you've gotta feel. Plenty bombs as well. Uses that Courage perfectly to get through the conga line. Tanks a hit, no damage, thank you Courage. And says goodnight to King Conga. Ring of luck, don't want that. Okay, Nick Rebel Ooh, making his way through the. Pain. Yep. Oh, you can't take them. Oh, hang on, sorry. On what? On a uh, on demon side, yeah. Yeah, it's man. Yeah, in the shop. Yeah, I was gonna say, I couldn't quite see them. But uh, no, you can't take those as demon. Oh, there goes that glass armor, and he's confused. This is a little spooky. Oh, get yourself out of there! Woohoo! Dodges that by a. Beat. I think you gotta spend the bomb. Go and get your glass armor back. Isn't gonna do so. He's gonna jump down onto his 4-2. Just wants to try and keep yeah. pace. 
And he's not too he far to behind. Because, uh, yeah. If he wants to catch up. Well, I'm not sure if that was an intentional tell among K, but uh, it could work out quite well. Oh, takes a hit. There goes the glass shovel. So he's not going to get that quick hit on the Necrodancer fight. That that That's the kind of thing at this point could cost you. I disagree. Yeah, because they, they both have uh, an infinite amount of bomb. I mean, uh, 11 and 9. Yep, grab your wardrobe. You gotta go. You're a floor behind. Necrobel's making really good time. Jumps on that spike trap. Doesn't care. Just gonna take the damage. Oh, dagger of phasing. He's actually gonna take it here. Once that quick kill on Dead Ringer, must be aware that Demon Hunter's yeah. right behind him. Dropping a bomb here. He's, you've got plenty of bombs. Just use them. Make this as unspooky as you have to to feel comfortable. And Demon, oh he's on, he's on 4-3 as well, he's approaching the same room, this is super close! Oh jeez, okay! You gotta go! You gotta go! On his Dead Ringer, a little bit shorter, but doesn't have a quick kill on Dead Ringer. Yeah. See, is he, he's just gonna lure here, which is, oh. it's slow, no he's not, what is he doing? He's trying to get the he's trying to get the uh, the ward the wardrobe up so he can actually yeah. hit Dead Ringer. Oh, instead just decides to use his bombs. Oh, super close, but not quite fast enough for Demon. There goes Dead Ringer, but Necro Rebel getting the first of six hits down on the Necro Dancer. Little blood heal for Necro Rebel. Oh, that was close. Nearly getting blown up by the Necro Dancer. No big deal. Gets frozen. Just gonna blood heal again. No problem. And there you go. So Necro Rebel's gonna take this. And he's gonna go 1 0 up. A 12 06 for us. I didn't quite catch his in game time, but it was a 7 something. Uh, it's a uh, 7 55. It's not too bad. And Demon Hunter, you gotta say, like, has made good time. Uh, you know, gonna have a, a 7.37 here, which is a very respectable time. But, uh, yeah, like we'll say, the wardroom would have worked if he'd managed to get it lined up properly. Let's get this timer reset. So, Nick Rebel 1 0 up. The seats are in for both racers. We're going to be getting underway very, very shortly. Yes, Tic Tac. It's ridiculous. That Blast Helm melts the Frost Dagger. It's, it's so stupid. Okay, we're off and running. Demon Hunter, a couple of seconds ahead of Necro Rebel. Talking of Blast Helm. Yep, just talking about it, there it is. Early Blood Shop. Both racers gonna go for the chicken and the the charm there. There's there's no real reason not to. Demon Oh no, sorry, he's got the blast helm. I'm just I'm so not used to people <laughs> just tanking hits from bombs even with a blast helm. Gonna use the bomb there just to get rid of that green dragon a little bit earlier. I don't think I can agree with that. It's a bit of a waste of a bomb. I mean mm, it does make you go faster. 
Yeah, by hmm, eight beats. You know, it's not anywhere near as big an advantage as you'd be looking for to spend a bomb. Like a bomb, <laughs> bombs are a pretty valuable currency. But here we go. He's going to be first in onto his one three. Nicky Rebel going to check this black chest again. Like on Demon's side, just a base broadsword. So nothing huge for either of these racers so far. Are going to be relying on this death metal fight for a decent weapon. Good use of the holy water there to take out the minotaur in the trapdoor room. Let's see what Demon's going to do here. Is he going to wrangle some ghosts? It looks like he's going to wrangle some ghosts. Does so good use. That's a good use of a bomb. So three hits, and then a bomb, then another hit and a throw. Oh, it's oh. Boots of Strength! He's gonna have to walk his shame. <laughs> when was the last time you saw Boots of Strength in a black chest oh, from the Zone One boss? It's gonna be. The, uh, I never saw them, but it's gonna be the same for Necrobell. Yep, the double walk of shame. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Both Razors having to go back for their dagger after that fight. Well, when was oh, the last the time you saw that? Boots out of a black chest. Um, not counting area, right? Yeah, not counting area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. This is a really, really nasty 2-1 exit room. Not that it's difficult, it's more just a bit of bit of an annoyance. Let's see, you can hear that dragon stomp, see it stomping, sorry, on Demon Hunter's side. I think he wants his charm here. Okay, chainmail for Demon. Nicarebel just seeing the chest as well, he's going to get it too, so we are pretty much tied apart from the fact that uh, Demon has the lucky charm. Nicarebel elects just to stay the hell away from it, wants nothing to do with it. He hasn't really actively taken the charm in any of his races. Uh, well, he didn't in the previous race as far as I can remember. Oh, that's a really Probably nice no. shot, that heavy yeah, plate. But... Can't you can't take it. No, can't take it. He does already have chainmail, so a heart of protection and the ring of protection, so he essentially has plate mail armor, but it's always nice to have heavy plate. Yeah, heavy plate uh, also allows you to uh, get him into wind spells and uh, work on uh, traps. Oh, that Wind Mage! That was a bit spooky! Tried to get the hit on Kong and the Wind Mage was having none of it. Okay, gotta say, currently preferring Necro's build. He must have dropped his multiplier at some point, so he's gonna have to keep he, running he this two... It, yeah. yeah, gonna have to keep running this two damage Blood Spear, which... There are worse things to run, but... Oh, Demon, interesting pickups. Oh. He got that Obsidian Longsword from his boss, and he finds Floaty Boots as well. There's That's a Titanium nice. Rapier. That's so good. Doesn't want it. Gonna take the Ring of War instead. Oh, I... Th I really want that Titanium Rapier, especially with the Ring of War. Well, to be fair, he was missing a, a few gold to buy it. Huh? Yeah, missing about a hundred. and Doesn't have any bombs, so can't get it. And there you go. So it's a Ring of War straight up. For Necro Rebel, who is luckless, does get an enchant weapon scroll though, and there are three bombs sitting in there yeah, that he can't get. <laughs> Koda is a bad waifu. Hmm. I think if anyone's qualified to answer queries like that, or to retaliate to accusations like that, it's probably Spoody. Spoody is quite a bad waifu. Okay, gotta say, this, uh, this Blood Spear with War is actually pretty nice, so up to 3 damage. 
I'm, yeah, I'm not regen. Yeah, very good. Oh, Demon getting a little bit spooked by that red dragon as it just jumped through the wall. But these guys are almost neck and neck. Necro Rebel with the slight advantage. But it really isn't by much. You know my answer? Fair enough. Okay, transmute spell for the luckless Necro Rebel. We'll see what Demon gets. What's he going to go for here? Oh, the Ring of Charisma. The Ring of Chalupas. Not what you want to see. A little hit from a Black Bat there for Necro Rebel. Only doing that half heart of damage. Based Chainmail. Well, there's some different boots oh. if you want them. Going to switch them out. Hmm. Um, no, going to switch back. Nope. Switch backs. I mean... Uh... For the three damage, you kind of have to. Yeah, the three damage is nice, but it's a toss up between three damage and goo protection. A goo protection isn't quite as huge a deal with that extended range, but uh, I don't know. Personally, I'd be split. I'd probably take the lead boots personally, but that's because I'm a bit of a cray baby. Okay, let's see. He should have bought the crown, though. Should have bought the crown. Oh, I missed what was in that arena, but whatever it is, Nick Rebel doesn't want it. Looks like Demon picked up a Frost Charm from it. Yeah. It would have been different on both sides, so thanks to luck. Okay. There was um, a Glass Repair in it. Ah, okay. For Nick Rebel. Yeah, you don't, want, you don't want anything to do with that. You're not about that life. Max a Crybaby, it's true. See, Loopy knows. Oh, this is a spooky situation for Necro Rebel. Handles it really well, though. Oh, good use of the wall peg. Does end up taking a hit, though. This is close. They both down onto 4-3 almost exactly the same time. The Telly Monkey oh. from Necro Rebel! This is spooky. We'll see if he can survive it. He does! Oh, by the skin of his teeth! What a Telly Monkey! He's on his dead ringer. A solid. It's got to be about 20 seconds before Demon's going to get there, if not more. Oh man, I don't know if he meant it, but he recovered well. His armor saved him big time there. Oh, this dead ringer's a little bit off the rails. Necro Rebel survives though. Oh man, what a telly monkey! What a lead for Necro Rebel. Going to be looking to take a 2-0 lead in this set. And Demon, oh, he's down on his dead ringer, but it's going to be. You feel too little, too late. Oh, Demon, sorry, Necro taking a few hits here. There you go, grabs his loot. Dorian taking a hit, but, oh, just, just breathe. You've got a bit of time, Necro <laughs> Rebel. Oh, man. Okay, Demon, oh, close behind. Only has three bombs as well, though. Not going to be quite enough. That Taylor Monkey was just ridiculous. And there you go, so, so Necro yeah. Rebel, oh man, <laughs> it wins it, a 9.24 for us, and a decent time in game as well, as far as I can remember, I imagine close, cl pretty close to the 9, but uh, a second loot on the board for Necro Rebel, what a telly monkey. Oh man, that was incredible. Honestly, four, Zone 4 telemon Telemonkeys are just the most hilarious. Oh, let's reset the timer as we get ready for uh, race 3 of this set. And both races were pre pretty close too, so let's see if uh, Demon Hunter can take the third one. Yeah, gonna be looking to get a point. I think probably feel a little bit aggrieved to only be sitting currently on one point for the week. Uh, we'll definitely want to try and get another one here. We're just about ready for this third race.
And just so you guys know, it wasn't accidental Telemonkey, it wasn't on purpose. And that's straight from Necro Rebel himself, so... Certainly worked out in his favour. Okay, doke, we're off and running. Demon Hunter again a couple of seconds ahead. Nasty bat room. Necro going nowhere near it. Yeah, accidental MVP. See, no, neither racer gonna like to try and get that barrel over. Oh, that is such a super, super nice. Oh, oh you got, yeah, you gotta go back and embalm. No, 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 you go in and bomb or you throw. Oh, I disagree. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> Necrorebel so, doing... Yeah. Oh, and there was food in that barrel, so it was... That's so good. Demon Hunter's on such a disadvantage. But there's an Obsidian Spear, so maybe not quite as much. It's a very oh. nice weapon. You couldn't use it with the boots. We'll see. Yep, Necrorebel gonna like to take the bomb spell instead of the... Uh, instead of the spear. He's got those oh. boots of pain. Oh, this is pretty nuts, like the divergence already, so Necro Rebel with the early luck this time. Demon Hunter, different build, has an Obsidian Spear and a Ring of War. Necro Rebel, Golden Cat and Boots of Pain. So he's going to be looking to get either a better cat or a rapier of some kind. Both races with the Ring of War now, actually. Yeah. Do you want to King your like too? Yep, yeah, really good iframes there from Necro Rebel. Yeah, this zone one though. It's pretty strong. Okay, Necro with the trap door and Demon Hunter finding it is pretty quickly. So both of them down onto Coral Riff. And Demon can throw. Yep, elects to do so and then just walks up to Coral Riff, gives him a nice big hug. Oh, Ring of Becoming, you want to stay away from that. We'll see what it is over on Necro Rebel's side. He goes black and gets an Obsidian Flail. Now, I don't think it's the worst pickup in the world. It's nice to have the three damage, and yeah. the Boots of Pain makes it a lot nicer. But for speed, you're kind of relying on finding that courage. Nice chicken pickup. Doesn't want it, going to stick with his Blood Drum. Trying to dig through, but nothing doing. I didn't quite see where the exit room was. So Demon with a bit of Floor's lead here, jumps down to his 2-3, Necro not far behind, he's going to be jumping down onto his 2-2. Two -two. Hey lad, what's going on man, how you doing? Making good use of uh, Ring of War on this Minotaur. Yeah, absolutely. Does the right thing, throws in his zone too. Deep Blues has got really, really oh, weird yeah. health scaling. It's 3355. Five. There you go, that's a ring. That's the ring that uh that really Necro Rebel's Ooh. gonna want to find. I think she'd find it as well because they do both yeah. have Lucky Charm now. But I know Necro Rebel got it a bit later, so I'm not sure how the pills are gonna be shuffled. Just has Let's to not take a hit. Yeah. Does so. I think he's okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yep, gets his courage, so this oh. is a very, very quick build. Boots of Pain, Obsidian Flail with Courage. It's a pain map. Sense of dream. This is... Oh, this is going to be spooky fast. Oh, but it's an Obsidian Rocket for oh. Demon. <laughs> the build. These builds are ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Oh, and there's a Titanium Longsword if you want to play a little bit safer for Demon. Isn't going to- Oh no, Necro! Ah. He does the slip and slide and unfortunately ends up slipping and sliding right into a dragon. Oh man, so Demon with all the time in the world now has a very, very hefty lead. Oh, that is insane. Gonna do exactly what he did last time and grab the, uh... 
Grab the blast helm so we can take out the shopkeeper. Oh, demon, a little bit spooky. Oh, demon! Losing a fair bit of health. If I'm demon, I'm going back for that, uh... I'm going back for the spear. I want nothing, nothing to do with this rocket. Not now. You do not need even the possibility of going this fast. Yeah, crap, Necro Rebel 2016. That's basically how that went down. Oh, that is a nice, nice looking spell. You can't afford it though. And it's Conga 3. Yep, Conga 3. So we're going to use this rocket just to scoot past doing some weird stuff with the Conga lines. Oh dear, drops his beat, so no item for him. Oh, the ice got him. Yep, the ice got him. But manages to get through it without taking any hit. Any more hits. And he's onto zone 4. Just has to play this reasonably slow. Not too slow. Don't make it spooky for yourself. But uh, all the time in the world. Oh, that's a nasty room to crack open. Oh, that's a very nice find when you're trying to not go too fast. Some oh. floaty boots just makes things such <laughs> a non-problem. So good. Yeah, go, no problem. Oh, it's a blue dragon. Gonna have to be careful. It was a blue dragon that got him. I believe it was race one. Making this a little bit spookier than it has to be. He manages to get past it fine. Down to his 4 2. Nick Rebel doing well to catch up here. Same layer as last time in terms of items. Outlay, not layout. Same outlay of items. Yeah, bat rooms and courage is a very, very good time, regardless of weapon. Okay, that blade master just committing seppuku and spike traps. Oh, Necro Rebel Ooh. down! Just looks like just before the stairs as well. That's gonna be oh, a ringer regen, I think. To be honest, yep, just take that. Just guarantee yeah. it. Get your heels between floors just in case. You really don't need the courage. It was spooky anyway. You handled it really well though. Okay, at this point Nick Rebel just kinda has to hope that Demon dies. It is it's demons to throw away now. <laughs> There's a titanium flail That's if you so really cheesy. want it, but uh, yeah. Oh, bombs the pixie! No, the pixie kisses. Who could you? So mean. <sighs> Poor pixie. Poor pixie. That's the end of his fourth. Are you gonna check his shop? Grab your armor. Yep, there you go. Gonna grab the backpack as well, just for the <laughs> sake of it. Why not? Okay, dead ringer here. Not gonna. Oh, okay, he's so gonna go for a right side lure here. Yep, no problem. Doesn't wanna. Oh no, demon! This is off the rails. We're officially off oh the rails. <laughs> demon, please. It's just some way there. Oh, there's another hit and another. Oh, he gets through. Yes. Eat your cheese, man! Eat your cheese. <laughs> Oh, that was spooky. All he had to do was bop the skeleton, but didn't do so. So Dead Ringer just moved diagonally from him, and just he just wanted to say hello. Oh, Demon taking a couple of hits here. I know he's got a reasonable amount of health and armor, but does still have to be careful. And drops a beat there. Could have been spooky. Yeah, <laughs> lures are safe. They said. Lures are safe when they're done right. The only real issue, like, the right side is spookier than the left side as far as I'm aware. I very rarely see, like, if I see a right side dead ringer spawn, then generally I'm going for, uh, 
I'm hitting the bells and killing the enemies. Ooh. Just ducks away at the right time. Well, he had blessed time, so we don't take uh, any damage. Yeah, it wouldn't be an issue, but there you go, there's the last hit on the Necrodancer. And Demon's gonna take a point here. A 952 for us, a 932 in game. We'll get his point on the board, so GG's to Necro Rebel and Demon Hunter. Necro just he, Oh, just so close. That slip and slide cost him. Cost him very, very hard. <laughs> but so so those builds